while the cluster is apart, we're going to examine it for any problems related to the 12-pin internal power connector. This is a, a problematic component. The long pins plus uh, vibration plus heat result in broken solder joint. If we look at the back side, we can see we've got bad cold solder joints here where the, the pin is broken away from the solder. We also see that here. Um, I used to recommend just reflowing the solder on these. Uh, I've seen enough worn out connectors. If we look at this, it's fairly, it, it's starting to oxidize. It's fairly worn. So uh, my new recommendation is to replace this component. We sell a kit of parts for $19.95. The power connector kit has both sides of this connector, plus some solder that's used by the cluster. You can get these components from my website, batee.com. That's batty.com. You'll find a link in the description. Okay, so to make this repair, we need backlight repair kit available from batty.com. We also need something to desolder electrical connections. That can be desoldering braid that you can get at Radio Shack. That can be a desoldering um, pump, a solder sucker. Uh, really your choice. The easiest way to, to remove this component is to use the solder pump, so I'm going to use that. I'm using a 40 watt Radio Shack soldering iron to do this. It's warmed up. It does have a clean tip. First thing I like to do is add a little bit of fresh solder. That helps to clean everything. So, I am using a piece of masonite to keep uh, the pin, the heat from the pins from melting through my table. I'm going to heat both sides of that connection. When it's good and hot, I'm going to suck the solder away from the joint. And we're just going to repeat this a few times for the 12 pins on the connector. After we finish all 12 pins, this is how it should look. Be very careful because these pins are hot. I'm just going to lift this a little bit, wiggle the connector back and forth, and it should fall free, just like that. Okay, for the next step, we're going to use the desoldering braid that I showed you, and we're just going to clean up the board a little bit. The way we use desoldering braid is we put it between the connection where we want to remove solder and the soldering iron, and we just heat it up a little bit, move it around. Desoldering braids, three or four dollars a roll at uh, Radio Shack, and really does help clean up the board. We're going to flip the board over and clean up the other side the same way. Okay, the next step is to install the 12 pin connector. Um, make sure the board is facing this way. The pins point up from this board. We're going to leave a slight gap between the new connector and the board. The reason for that is we want to be able to see that we're making good solder connections. We've turned this upside down and uh, made sure that uh, the connector is perpendicular to the board. We should see the pins sticking above the top of the board about, about a sixteenth of an inch when it's properly spaced. And now to solder. Um, we're going to heat both the pin and the pad at the same time and we're going to feed our solder into that joint fairly quickly. Then we're going to do the other end so that the connector doesn't physically move. The brown stuff that we see is fine. It's the, the flux that's inside the solder. Don't worry about that. We'll clean that off later. One by one, we'll solder these pins in place. 
want to make sure the solder flows around all four sides of the pin and again that it's nice and, and shiny okay when you're done this is how it should look again nice bright shiny connections and solder all the way around the four sides of the post okay so next we'll take some cotton swab and rubbing alcohol and we'll clean away the flux uh, this is how it looks from the other side if we look at the edge view we can see that the solder has flowed through to each of the 12 pins but no two pins are touching this is the way it should look Uh, the next step is to replace the power connector on the top board with this part. And the process is very similar. What we're going to do is add a small amount of solder. The rosin in the solder that we're adding cleans the connection and makes it easier to remove the solder that the factory used to install this part. We're just adding a small amount clean things up. Next we'll use our desoldering tool. We will heat each of the connections. This is how it should look after you've removed the factory solder. And if we Pull on this connection, wiggle it a little bit. So I had to use a small flat blade screwdriver, but I was able to remove the connector. And again, it's in one piece. All of the pins came out. And again, we'll use the desoldering braid to clean up the solder that's left behind. And we'll flip the board over and use the desoldering braid to clean up the other side. Okay, and that's the way it should look when we're done. Next, we will take the new connector. We'll make sure that the holes for the pins line up with this row of holes. We'll make sure that the pins go through the solder pads on the top board. And we'll solder in each end to hold the connector in place. And then we'll solder each of the other 12 connectors. And this is the way it should look when we're done. Again, if you'd like, use some cotton swabs and rubbing alcohol to remove the leftover rosin. And that completes the connector replacement.